Hello everyone. Welcome to Sneha videos. This video is for 6th class chapter 3 playing with numbers and in this video we are going to discuss the problems from exercise 3.3 prime which are based on prime factorization. So in one video we discuss that in prime factorization we have two methods one is division method and one is factor tree method okay if you don't know you please follow the link in the description so here we are going to discuss the problems related to that methods okay from exercise 3.3 so let us take the first problem write the missing numbers in the factor tree for 90 okay so here he gave the factor tree okay here there are some missing numbers okay these numbers we should fill okay so let us recall the factor tree method the first step is the given number is split into product of two numbers. Okay. If they are composite here 10 and 9 are composite. So again they are split into the product of two numbers. Okay. And at last it should be continued till all the factors are prime numbers. Right. So here 10 means we can write as 2 into 5. Right. We know tables right. 2, 5, 10. Now next 9 means 3 into 3. That's it. We can write the factor tree like 2, 10 means 2 into 5 and 9 means 3 into 3. Okay. He asked you just fill this missing numbers. So, we fill the numbers. Here this blank is filled with 5 and this blank is filled with 3. Okay. So, let us go to the next one from this problem. So, here is a second one. 90. It is to be split into product of two numbers. So, 30 into how much? Okay, next 30 is 10 into how much? Okay, so you are confused here. Here it is stopping here. Here 30 is splitted again because it is a composite number. Okay, again we have this 10 as a composite means it is to be splitted again, right? So 10 is a product of which numbers? So this is your question. So let us write here. So 90 means 30 into how much? 30 into 3. Okay, so it is to be stopped till here only this step because it is a prime number. Okay, so our procedure is we should stop if there is a prime number. Okay, here we have a composite number. 30 is a composite number. So we will continue this 30. Okay, so 30 we can write as 10 into 3. So that blank is filled with 3. Okay, again here it is also 3. It is a prime number. So these two steps are stopped here. Again, we have here 10 means composite. So, it is to be splitted. So, 10 means 2 into 5. Okay. So, if you see here, 2 is a prime number, 5 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number and 3 is also a prime number. So, this is the final step. Okay. So, in 90, I can write as 2 into 5 into 3 into 3. If he asks you to write, you should write in this way. Okay. But in the question, he just asks you to Fill the missing numbers. Okay. So, we filled it. We finished. So, let us go to the second question. So, here is a second question. Factorize 84 by division method. Okay. So, the first one we have seen with factor tree method. Now, this problem will solve with division method. Okay. So, again I am telling division method means the first step you should start the division with least prime factor. Okay. And you should continue the procedure of division till you get 1 as a number. Quotient you can say. Okay. So, let me take 84. So, here we know the divisibility rules. So, last digit is 4 means it is divisible by 2. So, 2 is the least prime factor. So, we should start with 2. So, 2, 42 is 84. Okay. Again, here it is 2 means it is divisible by 2. So, 2, 21 is 42 okay now here if you see the last digit is 1 which is not divisible by 2 so after 2 the next prime factor is 3 so we will check with 3 whether it is divisible or not 2 3 divisibility rule is sum of the digits should be divisible by 3 so 2 plus 1 will get 3 so it is divisible by 3 so children you should be perfect with divisibility rules so 3 7 21 okay and we know that 7 is a prime number. It goes only in the 7 table. So, 7 once 7. So, we got here 1. Means we can stop till here, right? 
because one means one ones are one, but one is not a prime number, so we cannot proceed like that. So here we got one means we should stop here. Okay. Now I can write the prime factorization of eighty four as two into two into three into seven. Okay. Don't include this one because one is not a prime number. Okay. Prime factorization. The name itself is telling that we are factorizing the number. Which are having the factors as prime numbers. We should have only the prime numbers. One is not a prime number, and here we are not dividing further. Okay, so this is the prime factorization. Okay, now let us write the factors of eighty-four. So eighty-four factors I can write as one into eighty-four is eighty-four. As it is, as the last digit is four, it is divisible by two. So I can write two into forty-two is eighty-four. Next three, we if you want to check with three table, we should add these two digits. Eight plus four is twelve, so it is divisible by three. So I can take three twenty eight, eighty four. Four means the four divisibility rule is the last two digits should be divisible by four. Okay, this number is divisible, so I can write four into twenty one. It is not divisible by five because here the last digit is not zero or not five. Okay, so let us jump to the next number six. Okay, six fourteens eighty four. Now let us check with seven. If it is not divisible, let us go to the next number. Seven, it is divisible by seven. Next, you have these are the factors. Seven, eight, it will not go in nine table. It will not go ten, eleven. It will not go again. It goes in twelve table. So already we got here twelve. So we can stop the procedure till here. So these are the factors. One, two, three, four, six, eight. 12 14 for 21 28 42 and 84 so these are all the factors of 84 okay this is a method of writing the factors and whatever we have done that is the prime factorization method okay using the division method so here is a third question write the greatest four digit number and express it in the form of its prime factors okay so you should write the greatest four digit number And you should express it in the form of prime factors. Means you should do the prime factorization method. Okay. So one thing I'll tell you: remember, whenever you are you are asked to write the greatest four digit, greatest three digit, seven digit, whatever it is, and if you are asked to write smallest four digit, remember a simple procedure. Greatest means you should always write nines. Okay. Smallest means you should always write zeros. Okay. Here our question is four digit, right? So you should write four nines. Okay, smallest means you should write four digit means three zeros you should put and one you should put. Okay, so thousand is your smallest four digit and nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine is your greatest four digit. So greatest means it is a friend of nine. Smallest means it is a friend of zeros. Okay, so remember in this way. So here we are asked to write the greatest four digit number. So let us write the greatest four digit number four. Nines. Okay. Now we should do it. We should find out the prime factors, right? So we'll use the division method. Any method you can use. So let me use the division method. So our question is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. So let me take that number. Here last digit is nine. What is our division method? We should start from the least prime factor. The our least prime factor is two, but it is not divisible by two. So we'll check with three. It is divisible by three. So three, three thousand three hundred and thirty-three times. Okay. Now again, you take the last digit. It is now divisible by two. So let's next prime factor is three. So it is divisible by three. So we can write three one thousand one hundred and eleven times. Okay. Here last digit is one. Again, it is not divisible by two. So let us check with three. It is not divisible by three. Also use the divisibility rules and check. Here, this one thousand one hundred and eleven. It will go in eleven table. So eleven ones eleven. This is finished. Now again, next digit is one, but it is smaller than this eleven. So we should take two digits at a time. So whenever you are taking two digits at a time in division, you should put zero. Okay. Many of you will do the mistake in writing like this. Eleven ones eleven. Again, eleven ones eleven. But it is wrong. Okay, so here eleven ones eleven. First time 
the very first name digits we can take directly two digits okay but here in the middle of the division if you want to take two digits at a time you should put zero and you should write the respective quotient 11 once 11 okay so it is divisible by 101 times okay again this 101 is a prime number so it goes only in 101 table so 101 once 101 okay so our procedure is it should be ended with one okay so we ended here so i can write the prime factorization of this 9999 as 3 into 3 into 11 into 101 okay these are your prime factors our question is to express this four digit number as prime factors okay so 3 is a prime factor 3 11 101 all these are prime numbers so it is expressed in the form of prime factors okay so let us go to the next problem so here is your fourth problem i am the smallest number having four different prime factors can you find me okay so here he gave the question that i am the smallest number so this is the least smallest number having four different prime factors okay so here he gave one hint that the number which we are writing here it is a product of four different prime factors okay so smallest number means we should take smallest prime factors means 2 3 5 7 these are the smallest prime numbers and if you multiply this whatever number you got that is your smallest number okay so we'll take that number as 210 and 210 is when you find out the prime factors last digit is 0 so 2 one not five times here 5 plus 1 is 6 so i can do with 3 35 times 2 3 next prime factor should be 5 so 5 7 next is 7 1 7 okay so he gave one hint smallest number smallest number means smallest number and he also gave it has four different prime factors when you multiply these four different prime factors you'll get that number means here he mentioned smallest so i'll take all the least prime factors and i'll multiply which will give me 210 so this is my smallest number okay i continued this till i get one okay so i can write the prime factorization of 210 is 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 okay so i hope you understood this video if you understand please like my video share my video and subscribe my channel thank you